This video looks at the Willowware installation process. Our installation process is essentially the same regardless of whether you are installing one of our Willowware modules or if you are installing a Willowware client specific enhancement. If you haven't done so already, please visit willowware.com forward slash install. There you will find a document on the best practices for installing and testing new modules with Dynamics GP and also a detailed instruction manual. Before you begin, please be sure to review the complete installation instructions at willaware.com forward slash install. What follows is a brief summary of those instructions. Back up all databases. This means all company databases and the Dynamics database. Back up all modified forms and reports dictionaries. Back up the entire GP client folder during the server-based client installation process, there can be no users in GP. This means no users in any of the Dynamics GP company databases. Log on to the PC as a domain administrator, and then you will need to log into GP as SA or DynSA. The first step will be to download the software. If you purchased a Willowware module, you will be sent a link to our downloads page and be given a username and password. If you are installing a Willowware customization, you will be sent a link to download the software directly from your project portal. So from here, we'll take a look at the process of downloading and installing a Willowware module. The first thing you will need to know is which version of software you are installing. If you are on GP 2015, you'll want a version 14 build. If you are on GP 2013, you'll want a version 12 build. So when you click the link, it takes you directly to that section of downloads page that has, in this case, only the version 14 builds. When you're on this page, be sure to download the readme file and the manual. And then you will also download the software. To download the software, click the zip file link across from the product that you want to install. When you click, click the link, be sure to save it to a location that you'll be able to find later. After downloading the software, you'll have a file that looks like one of these two. If you are installing a Willowware customization, it'll look like this file here. Instead of Acme, it'll be your company name, and then the file will include the build number. With a Willowware module, it'll simply be uh, the name of the product and the word setup, such as API setup or GP PowerPack setup. Select the zip file, right click, and extract it. For Willowware products, the zip file contains a second zip file which includes the build number. It also includes uh, a brief installation document. Select the second zip file and extract that. At that point, you'll have the product installation executable. Both Willowware products and customizations use the same executable. So from here forward, the installation process for both our products and our customizations will work exactly the same. Right click on the installation executable and select run as administrator. The first page will prompt you to again review the installation instructions at willaware.com forward slash install. Click next. The next page is the end user license agreement. Please review this carefully. You must accept the end user license agreement to continue with the installation. The Willowware software will be installed into the default installation folder for Dynamics GP. If your Dynamics GP is not installed in the default location, click Browse and locate the folder where Dynamics GP is installed. Click Next. The next page uh, allows you to review the installation settings. Click Install. When installation is complete, you'll have a chance to 
open several documents associated with the product. With the Willaware products, uh, it shows only the README file. The installation documentation should be downloaded from the downloads page. If you are installing a Willaware customization, the, this final page will show the README as well as documentation in both a Word and PDF format. Click Finish on this final window. After you've run the Willaware installation executable, the next step is to launch Dynamics GP. The first thing you should see is this Include New Code window. If you don't see this and it goes directly to the GP login window, close GP at that point and review the installation process. The most likely thing that went wrong was that GP is not installed into the default folder and the Willaware software was not installed into the same folder where GP is located. If you do see this window, click yes. You can then proceed to log into GP. You should log in as either SA or DynSA. You can log into any of the GP company databases. The uh, installer that runs inside of GP will allow you to select which companies you want to install the software into. When you log in, you should see this window. It'll say, please run the installation for GP Power Pack or Manufacturing Power Pack or the name of your customization. When you see this window, click OK. After GP finishes logging in, you'll see the Willaware installation window. This window looks identical regardless of the Willaware product you're installing or customization. Click the install link and the select companies window opens. Mark the companies into which you want to install the product. Marking the company also enables the product for that company. Click install. As the installation progress proceeds, you'll see progress updates along the bottom of the window. The installation process can take several minutes. When the Willowware installation process completes, the window will change to show a finish link and a register link. The register link will only be present if you're installing a Willowware product. It will not be present if you're installing a Willowware customization. If you're installing a customization, click Finish to close GP. If you're installing a Willowware product, click register at this point to register the software. Along with the email you were sent with download instructions, you will have also received a .rg file. That is the registration key file. You can click the folder icon to locate the registration key file. After the file has been read, the validate button will become enabled and you should then click the validate button. Alternatively, the Willowware product you're installing may also have the ability to retrieve the registration key online. If so, click the get key online button. When the key is validated, the results of the validation will be displayed in the bottom section of the window. As you can see, there are a couple of issues with this registration key which are highlighted by the red X. In this case, the key is for the wrong version, and it's a temporary key that has expired. If after validating your key you see any red X's, please contact Willaware and send us a screen capture of this window so that we can see what issues you encountered with the registration. What you've just seen are the first several steps of the Willaware installation process. We began by running the installation executable on the server-based client. We then launched Dynamics GP and were prompted to include new code. We answered yes when asked to include new code and then logged in as SA. We could have also logged in as DynSA. Once inside Dynamics GP, the Willaware installation window popped up and we ran the installation inside GP. When that process finished, we clicked finish, which closed GP. Those steps complete the server-based installation process. The next step is to install the Willaware software on the remaining Dynamics GP clients. 
Completing the installation by installing the software on the remaining GP clients is very simple. On each client, run the executable, launch Dynamics GP. When asked to include new code, click Yes. Those three steps complete the installation process on each of the GP clients.